it's the best time of the week. It's where we get to talk Chiefs with you. We've got a bunch of questions coming up here on today's Chiefs Report, talking about the latest Chiefs news, Chiefs rumors, and everything in between. So, without further ado, we're about to get ready to get into it, but if you want Chiefs news and rumors right at your fingertips like you're watching right now, guess what? All you got to do is hit that subscribe button because you are going to be locked into the best Chiefs news and rumors outlet on all of YouTube. So get on there, hit that subscribe button, youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. If you're on a laptop, scroll down, little red subscribe button, click it, it'll turn gray. If you're on a phone, you're watching like this, boop, flip it, there's a little red subscribe button. Tap that, I would certainly, certainly appreciate it. I also appreciate Don Luke Picard, who on our Tuesday live show, which you have, if you're not joined, we're live every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Central Time. He sent a $20 super chat saying, come on, boys, get it out of your system. Don Luke, you are a legend, man. We certainly do appreciate you. And if you want to be a legend just like Don Luke, come join us on our Tuesday live shows at 3 p.m. Central Time every single Tuesday. Me and Sam hanging out with you answering Chiefs questions. Let's get to the first one here from Tony Fuentes saying, now that, I, now that Snead is gone, what's next for the Chiefs to go and get for a great replacement? Well, Tony, I'm glad you asked that question because we actually have a whole video talking about the replacements for the Jerry and Snead. You see Kool-Aid McKinstry in there. We've got, of course, Xavier Howard, Patrick Peterson. I know he moved to safety, but could he come back to cornerback? We've got a list of five different options in there that the Chiefs could go do. And then, of course, you got some draft prospects in one of those five options that I'll talk about. So go watch it. One of our most recent videos. Guarantee you, you're going to find what you're looking for and everything related to Legereus Need all in this one right here. So go check it out. Lewis Cutberth with a question saying, hashtag Chiefs, would you draft left tackle or go defensive edge in the first round? Given the Chiefs got a defensive edge last year in Felix Anuduke Uzoma, I trust him still to be a viable option. And Charles Omeni, who will be back at some point in the season, I'm going to go left tackle. I don't know that I trust Wanya Morris more than I would trust FAU and George Karloftis. That's just my opinion. Now, I have talked about this, and Sam brought up a good point on our live show, saying that if there is one of the top tackles, say a Troy Fatano or J.C. Latham, that falls back into that number 32 pick, why not go out? Why not go get a left tackle? Because it's certainly a top-heavy offensive line draft, and if it's there, go out and get it. So I'm certainly going left tackle, but I would say for me in round one, it's left tackle or wide receiver. I think those are the two options for the Kansas City Chiefs, given those are the ones that I truly feel are the most necessity-needed positions at this point. Let's go to Mr. Mahomey, 15, saying... Hashtag Chiefs, could the Chiefs be interested in trading up in the first round of the draft? We've talked about this a couple times on the show, but I think it's really important to bring it up because given the Chiefs have stockpiled picks in 2025, they could be in a situation to trade up in the first round. But again, I'm going to credit Sam with this. It's all about making sure that you're good for the next couple years. And like Sam said, if you keep those draft picks, you're going to have two years' worth of picks to help kind of fulfill yourself for the next four years when those contracts of Chris Jones, Patrick Mahomes get really, really big, and you got to pay Kelsey and all that. Well, if you trade them, you're going to have less options. You may have better people on your team, but it's less options. And we know Brett Feach is an outstanding draft mind. I truly do feel like they may just stick where they are at 32 and just take what is given to them. But maybe you're not like Brett Veach. Maybe you think they should trade up, and that, that would be dumb if they didn't. Why well, for yes, if you would like the Chiefs to trade up in round one, in for no, if you think the Chiefs should not trade up in round one. I want you to get down in the comments section and let me know what you are thinking about this. Why for yes, in for no. Put on your GM hat and be Brett Veach. Let's continue on here with our questions. And Chiefs prod, love the avatar photo, by the way. Marquise Hollywood Brown, love it. Hashtag Chiefs, could we draft a running back? Definitely. I think given the fact that Jarek McKinnon and Clyde edwards helaire are both not re-signed at this current moment, I think that is going to be something that is well talked about until the NFL draft. Now, they have not been signed by other teams as well, and so they are still very, very good options to keep in the back pocket to potentially re-sign. 
But if you don't get one of them back, I'm not trusting Daenerys Prince to go out there and get up there. I, I just don't think that that's a very good running back room with Pacheco, Prince, and P. Ryan. It's just not in my mind. I think you need to go out and get somebody. I would like a Braylon Allen. I mean, uh, Dylan Johnson, I guess, would be a good option in the back half. I know the Chiefs did talk with Bucky Irving, the Oregon running back, so he could potentially be an option. He also had a receiving threat in college. Uh, I definitely could see the Chiefs going after somebody in the draft. It's just at what point would be the bigger question in my mind. Is it going to be early in the rounds or later in the rounds? Mouse O saying Chiefs. Do you think that the Chiefs will draft a defensive back instead of a wide receiver? No. Here's my full opinion on this, and I know that some of you have probably heard me say this countless amount of times. Given they traded Snead away, I feel like they were comfortable with the defensive backfield they had if Snead was not on the team. Trent McDuffie, a great option to have as your CB1. I think overall you're good with Jalen Watson and Josh Williams splitting time potentially at that CB2 spot. I think they're going to get defensive back. I don't know where it would be. I think it could potentially be in the later rounds, but I would more expect them to go out and get an Xavier Howard on a one-year deal. Go get somebody like that rather than trading up. But we all know Brett Veach. Well, he's got some surprises up his belt. You know what also has some surprises up their belt? Game time, because guess what? We got a new code for you to get $20 off your first purchase. If you use code chat sports, there you go. $20 off in game time. If you don't know what it is, it's the easiest way to get tickets to your sports, your music, your comedy, your theater events, all in your area. You shouldn't have to worry when buying tickets to your next big event in game time with their killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat, and their best price guarantee. Well, guess what? Game time will take the guesswork out of buying tickets. Listen, I struggled time and time again having to go through countless amounts of ticketing apps, having to click through and see all this extra stuff and not be able to know how exactly to get last minute tickets. Game time, well, guess what? They have that covered to a T. In fact, you can get tickets literally up to the start of the game and sometimes even an hour into the game or event. And when the Royals, their opening day is this Thursday against the Minnesota Twins at Kauffman Stadium. Guess what? You use that code at chat sports. That's $20 off. You could get almost an entire ticket for that amount. So make sure you go check it out as guess what? We know him. We love him. Bobby Witt Jr., big contract, playing his first game back at Coffin since signing it. Go check it out. Chat sports, chat sports is going to be your little link to get that $20 off. Again, you can see the view from your seat before you buy, so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. All in prices show your total up front so you know what you're getting, so you know you're getting a great deal before you check out. Plus, you can buy tickets in seconds with two taps. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Chat Sports for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code C H A T S P O R T S. Chat Sports, no spaces for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets at the lowest price, guarantee. Oh boy, Lennon, <laughs> um, your profile photo continues to surprise me. Uh, continues to impress me. He says we should just get Ceh Jarek and Jettis and draft a corner. Uh, so you agree? I would love to get Jay Jettis. That that that'd be perfect. Um, I, I, in all reality, though, I think Ceh and Jarek would be a very good option to where you don't have to draft a running back. And so that third or fourth round, fifth round pick, whatever you're going to use on a running back, you can use on a defensive back a guy, a cornerback, a safety, whatever you want to call him. Uh, I think that would be a very good option. But hey, if the Vikings want to trade uh, Justin Jefferson to us, I'm not going to say no. Next question coming in here from Akila saying, Chiefs report by Chat Sports. Are the Chiefs still going to sign a free agent? And if so, who would you like it to be? At this point, I think there are three potential options here for the Chiefs left in free agency. Because they do have $27 million left to spend. The thing is, you're either going to get Donovan Smith back at left tackle. You're going to go get Xavier Howard. You potentially could go out and maybe get a Justin Simmons. I doubt that's more likely. Uh, or a Patrick Peterson at the cornerback slot. Or the most likely option, you save up that money for your draft stuff and get about $8 million of that, and then you re-sign both Jarek McKinnon and Clyde Edwards-Elaire for around $3 million each 
on a whatever deal you want to call it. I think that would probably be the most likely way to spend the money, but I don't know for sure. I don't think they're done just yet. I think they're going to do something, but we'll have to wait and see what that is. Panda Gaming says, hashtag Chiefs, do you like the wide receiver Brendan Rice for the Chiefs system? I would get him in third round, but what do you think? I think he fits in well. Obviously, the son of legendary wide receiver Jerry Rice would be really funny to have him on the Chiefs just because of the Chiefs' success over the Niners in these recent Super Bowls. Um, again, his stats at USC were really, really solid. He had a pretty good year this last year with Caleb Williams, 17.6 in the average. And you know me, if you've watched this show for a while, average is really, really important to me, especially with wide receivers going to the Chiefs system. But another thing that's important to me, touchdowns. This guy has 12 touchdowns last year. I think he fits well in the system. He reminds me of a Rasheed Rice type guy. Um, I don't know what the kind of thought process would be with getting him and pairing him with him, but I do kind of agree. If he's a third round guy, take him, take him, and don't blink an eye. Joker1634 says, would you rather the Chiefs win the Super Bowl this year and complete the three-peat, but not win again in five years, or win two in the next five, but not get the three-peat this year? It's an interesting question. As much as I would like to have the three-peat, and I know that's something that's never been done, I feel like in theory, if you win the next you win two of the next five, that means you're going to win four of the last seven. I almost feel like that is more in incredible sounding than a three-peat. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you disagree, maybe you won three peat and then are fine, not winning for five years. Either way, guess what? It's a question. Uh, why don't you answer it down in the comment section? I kind of like that one, so uh, let, let us know. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button as well because we've got some amazing content coming out all year long. So if you want to be up to date on the latest Chiefs news, rumors, updates, we have you covered. So hit that subscribe button. we got amazing stuff going on. Tony Fuente saying, do you think Kadarius Tony will be helpful in 2024? Despite what he's done in the past, he can do better. We all know that when Kadarius Tony has the ball in his hands, he is an actual and legitimate threat. Problem is, this last year, the hands were not really there. They were bricks. He never could catch anything. He dropped so much and single-handedly cost the Chiefs at least one game. So I think he will be helpful in 2024. I see him as a really, really talented returner. And if he can figure out his drop problems, he could be a really, really valuable asset. So I'm curious to see how the Chiefs go about that into 2020. Lewis, my guy, saying, would you draft a wide receiver in round one or wait till later rounds to get one since the receiver class is so deep? So again, I'll kind of backtrack here and uh, state my original thing that I said coming from Sam. If there is a left tackle that is available that is pretty good at the pick 32, like Troy Fatano or J.C. Latham falls down, whatever, uh, Talisi Fuga, go down there and get him. Fuga is honestly a really, really good option, and he has the chance to fall, uh, but if not, I'm going wide receiver. I think that that's the biggest thing that you're needing here into 2024. If there is a good left tackle, don't mind it. Go get it. That's great. But if not, I'm saying wide receiver is probably going to be the best option. Gabe says, what you pick in the NFL draft and why? Uh, I would pick Lad McConkey at pick 32. I think he's the most likely to be available. I don't know if A.D. Mitchell will be there, and so that's just what I was kind of going with. But, hey, we'll just have to see. Uh, I really do appreciate the question, though. I would say Lad McConkey is my pick at 32, unless a left tackle falls or A.D. is there. Really do appreciate all y'all watching. Chiefs Kingdom, again, if you want to get on these questions, then make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. We're live every single Tuesday at 3 p.m. Central Time. We'll see you there, and we'll see you next time. Peace out, Chiefs.